Welcome back, it's Zion from Uke on Demand, and this week we're going over a very popular song, Kiss the Rain. Now, this is the second Yuruma song we've done. Uh, our first one, River Flows in You, is by far our most popular video on this channel. And so, here comes his other hit, Kiss the Rain. And I'm going to play this first bar on the screen so you can hear how it goes before we dive into the tutorial. And to play that section, we're going to start out with open strings. Now we're going to go over the first part of the tutorial in this video, but you can get the rest of the tabs and the second tutorial at ukeondemand.com. We're going to start out with an open G, followed by open C, followed by second fret C. Just like this. And if you want, you can turn it into a hammer on. It's totally up to you. But after those three notes, we're going to pick the open G with the second fret of C. And this song does require a low G ukulele, at least this version. We do have a high G arrangement available for members of Yukon Demand. And it's a little bit altered so as to f work comfortably within the ukulele's range, but it still sounds like this song. Alright, moving on. We're going to pick open E. And then just strum the top three strings, G, C, and E. And then 
then pick G and C. Yeah, that's the first half. Second half goes like, starts off like that. You're going to pick the C string, and I suggest to hammer on to the second fret of C and E. And then just like before, we're going to pick the C string with the G string, but your finger is on the second fret right there. Third fret E. And you're going to come up here and swap. You're going to have the third fret of the E and the fourth fret of the C. And we're going to strum that just the top three strings. So it says if you are making an E minor chord, but you're not going to play the A string. After we strum the chord, we're going to pick the G string. And then 4th fret G. And for this, I like to reach my pinky over because it allows all the other notes to keep ringing. But if you need to, you can just hop the uh, ring finger over but that does mean you'll lose the note, that C string uh, vibration. But if you need to use it in a pinch, that'll be fine. Moving on, this next part sounds like this. Those are the last three notes, and they launch us into the second bar. So you're going to pick 3rd fret E, open A, 2nd fret of A, and again, I like to add in the hammer-on because it makes things sound a bit smoother. Moving into bar two, I'll play the first part so you can hear it in context. And play that section. We're going to start out in an A minor add nine. So we're going to be making that basic A minor shape, but we're also going to have the second fret of the a as well. So it'll be second, open, open, second. I'm going to strum the entire chord. Third fret A. And then strum this entire chord. Now we've come back to a normal A minor. Pick second fret G. Your index finger is already there. Middle fing finger comes over and pick the second fret of the C. Pinky comes to 5th fret of A, and pick that once. And we're going to pick the E string. At the same time, we're going to be sliding our pinky to the 7th fret. So we're going to pick the E string and the A, just like that. So you're starting at the 5th and sliding to the 7th on the A string. And the E string just stays open. And then we're going to start coming back down. Five, uh, the fifth fret, and then third fret of A. And coming down, we're just going to pick the open G and the second fret of A. And then we've got some notes that carry us on. We're going to pick the G string, fourth fret G. And open E. And playing this first section right here very uh, very slowly together. And that's to play the intro of Kiss the Rain. To get the rest of the tutorial and all the tabs, head over to ukeondemand.com. And make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.